Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video and tell me what your scent of the day. Um, yeah, so this video is about my top 10 for life scent. This is going to be hard. I know that I'm very picky with my perfume collection, so pretty much anything that I have in this cabinet, I consider it for life. But then I have 80 bottles. So if I were to reduce it to the top first 10 perfume, this would be it. And of course it's going to change over time. Um, it might not be the same next week, but as of now, these are my picks. Number one, Delina Exclusive. I don't have to mention a lot about this because this is a very popular scent. This is a beautiful lychee, rose, musk, very feminine, very girly. This is very beautiful. Jammy rose, syrupy jammy rose with like nutmeg ice cream vibe on the side i absolutely love it i do reserve this for a more special occasion just because it's not an easy reach it's not a dumb reach because there is some royale feeling to it there is some sophistication and beautiful you need to dress up i have to dress up to wear this not because the scent itself it's because I feel inadequate otherwise so yeah but this is for sure my for life option Parfums de Marley Delina exclusive number two this is like all my one of my all-time favorite scent this is Sana Jardine Sandalwood Temple I mentioned this so many times this one smells like a beautiful pencil shaving sandalwood it is very creamy, it's very soft and gentle, it sits closer to the skin. It does project, but the scent profile is super soft. It smells like a coffee creamer made of sandalwood shaving. That's what it smells like to me. It's very beautiful. There is an underlying fruity tone in here that makes it even better, in my opinion. Um, this smells pretty similar to Atelier Cologne Santal Carmen, but that one's slightly more sandalwoody and this one's slightly more fruity. Out of the two, I prefer this one a lot more. Alright, so that's number two. Number three, this is like one of my new all-time favorite, Killian Angel Share. I actually sampled this quite a long time ago because Jennifer Latifah sent me a decan. This one smells like Paco Rabanne 1 million with cinnamon and apple pie. And the dry down is literally Tom Ford Lost Cherry with added slightly booziness. So it's like, it's not a mind blowing. Well, the scent itself is mind blowing. It's nothing groundbreaking because it's not new. It's if you have Paco Rabanne 1 million or Tom Ford Lost Cherry, you pretty much already own this. But Killian is just super duper long lasting. It does project. It's not beast mode in any way, but it plays peekaboo on you. I absolutely love it. I could see myself wearing like black dress at night. You no, know, maybe leather pants or leather boots wearing this. This is definitely like a man eater type of scent. For sure, this one grabs attention right away. Um, it's just beautiful. It's slightly feminine. It's a little bit unisex, but to me it's leaning feminine to be honest, but guys could totally pull this off. This is just a beautiful scent. I, yeah, I absolutely love it. This is for sure for my for life scent. Alright, so number four is Killian Princess. I couldn't decide, actually I needed a scent that I could use for a dumb easy reach, something that's not beast mode, it doesn't slap in the face, it doesn't make too much of a statement, it's something that sits closer to the skin, something that you could wear whenever you want to feel feminine and something that I could wear easily at all times. 
I was gonna pick Reminiscence Gimov, but I decided to go with Killian Princess because this is a beautiful marshmallow with matcha green tea and powderiness goodness. Yeah, I, I guess this is a really easy reach. If you have it, you've smelled it, you know what I'm talking about. It's often compared to Love Don't Be Shy, but in my opinion, they smell completely different. Although they both have marshmallow scent. But yeah, I really, really enjoy this. So yeah, for sure, Killian Princess is one for life. All right, so the next one of my for life is Armani Prif Rouge Malachite to Malachite. I've had this for a while. This used to be my like one of my signature scent if I have any. This would be it. I absolutely love it. It smells like alien combined with tuberose. It's a very creamy, creamy tuberose with coconut and a lang lang. It has a level of sophistication. It smells like you're an alien wear, but you graduated and you married somebody wealthy. Yeah, so I heard that this is discontinued, so it's very, very heartbreaking to me. But if you haven't smelled it, please do so. I think this one's worth owning for sure. Yeah. This is a beautiful, beautiful creamy tuberose scent. I thought I love this the scent of tuberose. I actually do. But after smelling more and more and more tuberose, I realized that I've been super lucky that all the tuberose perfume in my collection I absolutely love. But there are some other tuberose that's a little bit grandma-like. So it turns out this is a really, really, really good perfume for tuberose. Especially if you're not a tuberose lover, I think you'll still love this, in my opinion. So yeah, this is Armani Pre Rouge Malachite. All right, so the next one that I absolutely love is Alien Essence Absolute. This is a beautiful jasmine with, um, it has incense, it has myrrh. It has like deep dark vanilla with jasmine it has nuttiness in there so yeah this is discontinued it's super hard to find but once in a while it shows up on mercari or even fragrancenet.com but it's really hard to find though if you could find one go ahead and purchase it this is like one of the best designer scent i've ever smelled in my entire life so yeah alien essence absolute is my number six pick Number seven pick is, this is like one of my all-time favorite scent, Casa Morati Lira from Surjoff. This one smells like orange sponge cake. Beautiful. This is, smells like every time I had birthday, I always wear this. This is my birthday scent. This is my kid's birthday scent. Whenever I hang out with my kids, if I have won something with the happy memories, I always use Lira. This is just a beautiful orange sponge cake scent. If you don't have it, I absolutely recommend you to smell it. If you love Hugo Boss, the scent of Private Accord, I think Lyra is a better version of it, even though it's way more expensive. This one has vanilla, more vanilla, but it has that same vibe. It has that like orange chocolatey sponge cake scent. Yeah, so this is my for sure one of my perfume for life number eight bdk root smoking i've mentioned this so many times in my video this one smells like you're wearing dior fat delicious which i have and you're eating red hot candy it has like cherry tobacco -y vibe with tonka perfume so beautiful yeah, this is like one of the best perfume so far, but yeah, one of the best. Of course, everything else in this video is one of the best. Yeah, BDK Root Smoking. Number nine, Narciso Pudre. Beautiful powdery jasmine with musk, woods, and Narciso musk. This one is silky smooth, very pretty. 
very feminine very silky smooth very sensual absolutely love it it's like one of my all-time favorite number 10 dior hypnotic poison this one smells like blankety warm cashmere like it has tuberos it has almonds it has this nutty feel it has plum it has everything that's I love this one lasts forever lasts a long time 12 hours it lasts it projects and it's really good staple for the winter I also wear this during summer but not too much just like one or two spray this is good just for personal sniffing session this is one of my all-time favorites so I will definitely have hypnotic poison for life Alright guys, so these are the 10 perfume that I thought I would have for life at this point in time. So if you're on the lookout for new scent, I highly recommend all of the 10 here. In fact, I recommend all of the one that I have in my collection. But then out of this all, out of this 80, I think this 10 are the best of the best. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.